What is up everyone, Brian here, and we are playing the new game from Riot Games, uh, Legends of Runeterra, and I am stoked for this. Unlike all these other card games that I have dabbled with and played and haven't really caught my attention, I'm excited for Riot's game because I am a fan of League of Legends. I, I used to play a lot of League of Legends, I don't much anymore, um, but I still follow the pro scene, I've been watching Worlds, so... This is the first chance for one of these non-magic CCGs to kind of hit me with their lore. Not to say I'm a huge League of Legends lore buff, um, but I at least know the characters. I know like the mechanical callouts, and that's really cool to me. So we are just working our way through the tutorial now. Uh, we are going to play and learn, although I've been watching a little bit of... Uh, some other players stream so I have a general idea of what's working but we'll go through the tutorial just get some clarity to it let me know if it's too loud I don't want to have music I want to keep uh, the sound on for this because I want to experience Boros, the sound and what and are you going all. to do so, if it's too loud let me know I'll just death. bring it down it already looks like it's a little high so we can we can trim it a little bit here even mighty Boro deserves mighty friend like bro yeah the game looks beautiful just beautiful Brom levels up when he's blocked once okay thematic I like it carve a path that stuff is very cool Stand behind Brom. He says it in the game. I'm like I'm like the person when they say the name in the movie right now. Gets all excited. Ah, this was a fine block. Jake the Jackal, Twitch Prime sub, appreciate you. You are awesome. Even though we're not playing Magic, you're still down to sub. Love that. Much respect. Ah, this reminds me of when I carried Elnux over Iron Spike Mountain. So damage remains on characters but after the level up. Night, so biting cold. Tap it, we're frozen. Why did they get taken away? Then, storm had cleared, and Farmer said, No! Thank you! <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, we march. for one round without letting any poros die. Well, I think I can figure this one out. Help is underway. They got past oh, me. Oh, very strong. Victory. Played perfect. No, this is not going to kill MTG. Why do people do that every time? Why can't two things exist? I know you're just joking, but people really do take that path every single time. Like, oh, this exists, so magic's dead. Magic's the greatest game ever made. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, if anything, it makes magic better. I think that's a great way to look at it. Competition is a good thing, for sure. I saw the mana system. I think it's pretty cool. Like a little, little wrinkle, having the extra mana. Carry over to spell casting. We attack every other round. Yep, 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 yep. Figure that out. Yes, only one game can ever exist. How foolish of us to enjoy multiple things. Attack, summon an attack at the spiderling. So they're on level up to three plus spiders, okay? Mmm, feels good to stretch my And creatures can attack right away, right? 
can. Yeah. New spider win uh, immediately when she attacks. He's attacking. Yeah, attacking spider wing, cool. without acting around it. Round mechanic is interesting. This is Legends of Rune Terror. <laughs> yeah. Maybe when that was the, the last time I ever played Magic, giving the severity what? of beatings no, that I have received in the Legacy Premier League. It was pretty gross. Which one is my house spider? This 2 2? You got it, tutorial. For you. Go forth, my creations. The Donger. Level up when I've quished, squished a thousand spiders. That can't be real. Game audio is a little high. Okay, no problem. I brought it down a bit. Let me know how that works for you. We will adjust as necessary. Just you wait. I have a new iteration. I hope my favorite champs are both in the I game think it's about and good. Time we wrap this. Oh, she got three spiders, so she levels up. So she just gets bigger, nothing else. Seems to be the case. Play the spider. I wonder how many creatures wide you can go to attack. Going to assume the answer is just to keep attacking with everyone. Anticipated outcome. <laughs> when do we draw? I'm a little confused on the timing. How many laws apply to current beverage choice? Unfortunately, Red Bull is still somehow subject to all the laws, which is nonsense. Should be immune at this point. Uh, so just take some some free blocks here, right? Gottlieb voice ASMR. Uh, I don't know about that. I'll do my best, I guess. Alright, play this thing, do a bunch of damage. Quickly a spider, too. Yeah, just play it all. Opponent does nothing. All of our giant spiders shall attack. Played perfectly. Nothing our opponent could have done. Uh, Scara put out a like infographic that did a really nice job breaking down the kind of the like really surface differences between this Hearthstone and Magic. Spider spawning in this game too, yeah. Spider spawning great in every format. For justice and all things bright. Lux is dope. Burst. Now burst spells can be played at any time. Yep, fastest spells in the game. Take effect immediately. Don't count as taking an action. 
Draw two at instant speed. Okay. Another burst spell. Lux's ultimate, nice. Play, give an ally barrier. Okay. It's barrier. Next damage, okay. So like shielding. Cool. Time for this candle to flicker out. Ooh, do I have a mod here that can we'll make about that. make that link permanent? Who's here? Who can I mod if I don't have one presently? Andrew, you're a mod now. As soon as I remember how to do it. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. Zed, summon an attacking living shadow. With my stats, when my shadows and I have struck the Nexus twice, they level up. Shadows at 3-2, okay. What is ephemeral? Dies when it strikes or when the round ends, okay. Oops. No random packs? I haven't seen that yet, that's interesting. Zed protect himself with the birth spell. Plus 03 this round. Okay. Yeah, I like I like blocking. I think blocking is very good. Plays a spell, gets plus I have arrow. many faces. Oh, the shadow gets plus 302? Oh. On attack, summon attacking living shadow with my stats. And then levels up when it and shadows struck twice. Prismatic barrier at burst speed. So you can't interact with this. Random packs, but only as rewards, not purchasable. So what do you purchase? Can, and am I about to spend a bunch of money? Because I haven't looked if I can like actually buy things or I just get all the cards. Yep. Yeah, this is one of the differentiating points too. So any mana you don't spend during your turn carries to the next turn as spell mana. And I think you can like... Okay, so when you're... Oh, they're just messing with this now. They've moved this to... Okay. Yeah, I think it caps at 7. Cast Final Spark. 6 damage. Ooh! Darkness. It even looks like League of Legends. Oh, and now she gets that every time she attacks? That seems badass. Good stuff. Andrew, you could have just asked. <laughs> it's it's this one right up here. Hold on. I'm going to do this. I probably I probably could have done this myself. I don't know why I made you do this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I should have just done it. Illuminate the enemy. So that just goes to my hand. Yeah, okay. So we both draw every round. Okay. And I can play this if I want. Right? I can also play Final Spark if I want. But this doesn't use that mana. I still have eight spell mana.
Uh, so they go first, they pass, now I get to decide if I want to go. And I can just draw two. Because I'm going to get a mana refresh anyway. When we get back to my turn. New recruit and I should play this too, right? Because we're already post attacks. Now we're back to my turn. Mana refresh? Yes, okay. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Uh, okay, so we want to spread a little damage out. For justice and all things bright. Play perfectly. Is to never give up. Someone who only really pays attention to magic, I find it interesting how many companies are making similar games. They must think there is a market. There's a market. I mean, magic even lags behind Hearthstone, in, in this market anyway, in the online market. Hearthstone kind of killed it for a, a few years, yeah. Very, very profitable. Very good on Twitch. Play games to gain XP and complete the prologue each level will unlock new rewards for your collection received a ton of wild cards to help you make decks well thank you uh so let's see we have this deck now Ooh, i used to be a jinx main pretty excited about this i use the inventive power of piltover and zon and the subtlety of iona's stealthy warriors in this new starter deck to outmaneuver your enemies games unlock shards bonus quests okay so we just have these decks we can make a new deck if we want well, it seems like we have a lot of cards Jinx, quick attack. While attack, first strike, okay. And it levels up when your hand is empty, so you would do something like aggressive. Let's look at this interface a little bit. Can I see things I don't own to like craft or? How does that work? Shell unowned, okay. Spend shards or wild card. Okay, so I have 20 champion wild cards. It's like all the champions, right? Do you get three copies automatically when you unlock a champion? No, because I only have two of these. And you can play up to three copies of champions, right? I believe that's the rule I heard. I just started playing it. It's very interesting. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Let's just poke around the cards. I want to look. I don't know if that makes for a good viewing or not. Sorry. But let's see. So six champion cards per deck. Does it have to be just two unique champions and three copies of each? Timo, plant five poison puff caps on random cards in the enemy deck. How do I see a poison puff cap? Those. Double the poison puff caps in enemy deck. Plant five poison puff caps on random cards. Poison Puff Cap, deal one to your Nexus. Oh, this is cool. So you can, like, combo, make your opponent deck into all traps. I like it. 
Elise is like, go wide, spiders. You can do as many different champions as you want, but only two alliances. Okay. That's good to know. Elise just gets bigger. Other spider allies have Challenger and Fearsome. Well, I, I love what a good job they do of presenting all this information right here. Uh, this is really cool. You just mouse over stuff and it tells you everything you need to know. Block enemies three or more attack, and you get to choose which enemy blocks. Okay, that's cool. Release's crawling sensation. If an ally died this round, summon two spiderling. Shuffle a Elise into your deck. So champion spells, they automatically go in the deck? Or do you have to like craft the champion spell as well? My assumption would be they automatically go in the deck. KYT, I, I swear, I, I love you so much. I don't know why you find me so attractive, but you make me feel good every single time. So I appreciate it. Uh, your wife's going to be jealous at some point, I'm telling you now. If you have a champion on the board, the champion in hand turns into the spell. That's really cool. Huh. Yeah, okay. That's really interesting. All right, let's look at this Lucian. So first strike. Sorry, we're going to use magic shortcuts. That's just... The, that's. I'm 25 years in. That's how I have to think about this. So first strike. Levels up on four allies or Senna Sentinel of Light die. Okay, we'll get to that, I'm sure. Double strike. Cool. First time an ally dies each round. Oh, so you get to like take the attack back from your opponent. Only first strike on attack. Okay, thank you. That is a very big distinction. Relentless Pursuit. That's so sick. Ready your attack. Shuffle illusion. So this is like you routinely take back the attack from your opponent. Oh, it gives you extra attack step when you're the attacker. Okay. Got it. Got it. Cool. Send a sentinel of light. The first time an allied Lucian dies this game, grant me plus one, plus one, and double attack. And this is a separate card. You can get an attack step when you're defending, too. That's what I thought. I thought I watched Savija's video on it. And it seemed like you could, like, reclaim. Oh, Senna's a champion? Is Senna coming out in the game? Where's Senna? I don't see it. Senna's coming to League proper. Cool. Support Marksman, that's right. Okay, I've read about the Support Marksman. I haven't uh, put the two together yet. She's not a champion in the card game, though. All right, we saw Braum. I've survived 10 total damage as an 05. Interesting. Can choose which enemy unit blocks. Okay. Heals fully at the start of each round. All right, now that makes sense. Yeah, if you're running Lucian, you won't have to use all six champion slots on him and Senna. Cool. Next level, Brom. When I survive damage, summon a Mighty Poro. Same thing, Regeneration and Challenger. Mighty Poro is a 3-3 with Trample. Makes sense. And then the spell, grant a damage ally, plus 3, plus 3. Shuffle a Brom into your deck. Cool. Draven, first strike. Play or strike. So anytime it does damage, deal damage to an enemy using the unit's power. So does that work if you hit the Nexus as well?
Oh yeah, everything has to be magic. <laughs> I'm too old to change my ways now. Strike does work on the Nexus. Or when you block as well. Okay, cool. And then create a spinning axe in hand. That's so awesome. Levels up when it strikes twice with a spinning axe. Two spinning axes on the next level. So... I'm thinking... So you can play a level 2 Draven? Does that mean when it dies, it shuffles back into your library? Like if it levels up and then dies, it goes back in? Yeah, maybe there's like a bounce effect. Where it could end up back in your hand that way. If your L2 Draven dies and you draw another Draven, it turns back from the spell into the L2 creature. When it levels up, all the ones in your deck level up pretty sure. Okay, we'll figure that out. We'll get there. So here's the Draven spell. Battling ally strikes a battling enemy, and this is a fast spell. Battling ally strikes battling enemy. So I'm assuming that's just fight, but no return damage. One-sided fight is what that sounds like. Yeah, bite. Rabid bite. Spinning that. Boy, I sure hope no non-magic people wander in here because they're not going to get a whole lot from this. To play discard one, give an ally plus one out. Play discard one. You discard an additional card or just this? So when you get two, you discard one axe and hit with the other. Like tormenting voice. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, that feels very Draveny. These mechanics feel good. This is cool. Like I said, I never got to do this with like Hearthstone or Artifact. I mean, Artifact, I just didn't want to play ever again after like two minutes. But I, I had no connection to the lore whatsoever. But now I do, and it, it's cool. Some champions can level up without being in play. Cool. All right, we'll, we'll keep going through this, but I, I do want to occasionally play games is there like a very simple mode where i don't have to have i can just use these starter decks versus player versus ai all right let's just play a game versus the ai that's fine and we'll go back and review more cards after that I did see that Steve Rubin and Sean Main were involved. I like Steve Rubin a lot. We played an incredible game in the top eight of a WMCQ once. Um, I've always liked Steve. Really, really bright person. Definitely gets it. Draw a card, give me plus one oh this round. Grant an ally in hand, plus one, plus one. All right, these cards all seem Pretty fine-ish. We'll replace this one. Because I don't know what we're doing with it yet. And I'm assuming you want to get your champion pretty early, probably. More tutorials if I want to see more in the mechanics. Okay, we can go to that afterwards. Shadow Assassin. When summoned, draw one. And Elusive is... F I bet it's flying. Is that true? Uh, so we'll wait for maybe a better, my box. a better That's target right. for our inspiring mentor. Uh, two, three, four. Uh oh, Timo. Oh, we probably want to attack there, right? We're supposed to pull that forward. A nimble Poro with quick attack. So it's first strike. 
and I can spell. We never want to be hit by Teemo. We know that. Give support to ally lifesteal. And when you summon an ally, give me two. Oh, none of these have elusive, right? Oh, Teemo does. Okay. So we can play this Grenglade duo and then block. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Armed and ready. Hold up. You're disrupting my research. Another day in the field. Oh no, another Teemo. Round three. So we both get three men at the same time. Ooh, Jinx. Alright, so we'd really like to empty our hand. We do have Shadow Assassin to potentially block this Teemo again at a profit. That seems good. Silent as death. Summon two copies of an ally. They're ephemeral. I will play my we'll remember to pull forward and attack this time. And spoil the surprise? How do I like the first person template uh, on cards? On cards. When I'm summoned, draw one. Yeah, I think that's cool. Wow. Wow, these are dope. <laughs> it's good stuff. Selling a lot of emotes, yeah. I believe that. Uh, okay. What do we want to do? Where'd Teemo go? Wasn't Teemo just here? I got distracted. Teemo block when I attacked? That can't be right. Uh, it doesn't seem like we want to play Jinx yet. They blocked with Teemo. I don't think they played optimally there. Hmm. Summon two exact copies of an ally. Do I get to draw two? That's not even good. I can do this and like make my jinx bigger, right? You'll thank me later. Seems kind of good to me. I don't think we have to block here. So once they attack, I can't play another spell. Is that right? Oh, this costs six. I thought this cost three. I get priority again, but I can't play allies, right? I can only play spells. So I can Mystic Shot this. I guess I want to spend mana anyway, so that makes more sense than, like, plus 03, I think? Elusive creatures can block anything. Yeah, they just can only be blocked. Alright, so let's use the three mana spell, because I think we are supposed to be prioritizing emptying our hand, I, I guess. Do we cast this before we block? Heal anything free. Healed themselves. Okay. Type play. No, artifact was a mess. This this is interesting. At least thus far. I, I identified artifact was a mess, like literally within five minutes. Yeah, I don't think I did anything special to get into this. I just was in a stream, I have my account linked. And I got a drop, so. Is it time for Jinx yet? Thermogenic Beam. Give supported ally lifesteal. Alright, let's play Jinx. Rules are made to be broken. Like buildings. <laughs> 
We're Our people. people. So this doesn't have first strike when blocking, so that's fine. If I am trying to empty my hand, I could use this now and pop that, but it seems like I should wait for a team out. So let's just Smile. It's called gunplay. I'll show you how it's done. Oh, I missed what that said. Create a six cost spell in hand, refill your spell mana. Okay, but they didn't do anything else beyond that. And I did damage. So slow only on, on your attack phase, is that right? Or only when there's like not you're not in combat yet. Summon two scraps, Scuttler. But slow, so I can respond to that with something fast now. But that's okay. Got it. Now it's my action, and I can play any of these. Okay, cool. Can I make two copies of Jinx? Slow is only when stack is empty and out of combat. That makes sense. I just want to see if this works. Looks like it does. That seems powerful. Oh, that's only till the end of this turn, though. That's what ephemeral is. Okay. So that's not good. That was a waste. Okay. Right? That's what ephemeral is. It won't tell me. You play s slow spells the same time you can play a sorcery. <laughs> You're starting to bore me. Ephemeral dies at end of turn or after attack. Got it. So that was a waste. Now, post combat, I can play this inspiring mentor if I want to. That seems fine. You'll soon understand my methods. Not after attack; it's when it deals damage. Oh, but it would have it would have stopped here though, right? Like when I end round, it would have died. Grant an ally in hand plus three plus three. Yeah, I really can't emphasize just how much of a disaster Artifact was in every conceivable way. It was so bad. I'm on it. Wow, did you see that? You summon refill your spell mana, okay? Give my support supported ally lifesteal this round. Okay. I think I'm just supposed to be emptying my hand still, but... When do you choose a supported ally? Huh. So why, why did I choose this one? I'm curious. And what was the spell my opponent played? I'd like to see that. Transform a follower into another follower. Okay. Yeah, I am confused exactly what happened with the lifesteal thing. Support is whatever's to the right. Okay. Thank you. Makes sense. But you can always... Can I insert... Like, in this position, like, if I wanted to put a creature here, you always can, right? None of this is locked. 
I learned that in class. Yeah, everything has vigilance. That's weird. Uh, yeah, I don't think I want to do anything yet. My opponent just passes. Okay, so we're on we're on our way to winning. So now we get the Jinx spell. The play discard one, deal three to anything, shuffle a Jinx into your deck. Cool. So we just get to like level up Jinx. I mean, we're gonna win the game, obviously, but I want to I want to know exactly how things work. So we do this. Welcome to my humble estate. Last breath, create a random epic in hand. Like epic rarity spell? Looks like priority is passed around per spell. I think that's correct, unless it's a burst spell and there's no chance to respond. So I should be able to play this, discard this Twin Disciples, deal three to this. I don't know if this is bad, because I don't know what a random epic is. And then we let this resolve. Fire in the yeah, my that dies. Now we will use all this. A little bit of overkill. But now Jinx levels up. Start of each round, draw one. Right, come back. First time you empty your hand each round, create a fleeting super mega death rocket in hand. I would like to see that. Fleeting means fleeting cards discard from hand when the round ends. Deal four to enemy nexus and one to all of their enemies. Cool. Fleeting is like ephemeral, but for spells. Makes sense. I'll show you how it's done. T for two. How <laughs> refreshing to see an MTG streamer without 20 zombies on the board. Yeah, I know it's weird. Just living that zombie life. By the way, so I played a bunch of other decks this week, trying to figure out what to play in an MCQ this weekend. And uh, went fine. There's a bunch of good decks. And then I just like played some some Bant and never lost, ever. And it's it's just broken. Play play Bant if you have anything going on. I was playing PV's list. It was incredible. Uh, okay, so I have unlocked something. Where do I see that? Rewards. I unlocked bonus shards. <laughs> Rare wild card. Excuse me. And 200 shards. Okay. Bonus quest. So bonus quests are just random cards, it looks like. One thing which is sketchy about the economy of this game is that it's not possible to buy all the cards. What does that mean exactly? So this would be the main currency, I'm assuming. Yeah, okay. And you buy a bunch of coins. You're only allowed to buy a certain amount of wild cards per week. Interesting. There's a starter bundle. 66 cards from each region. Okay. Cards. Oh, you get to just buy the wild cards you need. That's interesting. Yeah, six in stock. Huh. But that's it. Those are the only ways to buy things. Right now. Basically, they don't want people to buy all the cards week one and push out the people who couldn't. 
That is a strange, strange path for a game seller to take. I don't want your money right now. But I recognize that my background is very different for most people, where I play one of these games and I just spend whatever it takes to get whatever I want. And there's a lot of people who are like offended by the arena economy. I think the arena economy is incredibly generous. And what I what I pay into arena to have every single magic card and be able to play it against like reasonable opponents and even have some stakes on the line, I think arena is a slam dunk. Um, I would love to read this. I'm gonna pull. A, I'm gonna open this window for for later. We'll stash that. I'll take a look at this because it's kind of long. But I do want to read this. Um, okay, let's see some more of these tutorials. They're under play. Okay, these are the ones we did already. So let's just start at the bottom. If you all don't mind, I just want to. I just want to get the specifics. Although I think I am rapidly getting an understanding, but do I think if this became as competitive as Magic or Hearthstone, I would be interested? That's really hard for me to say. I mean, I love learning new games, and I find it very interesting to like get the system and all that stuff, but ultimately, I have so much love for Magic that if, you, if you're trying to compete for my free time, I'm probably just going to use it to play Magic quite frankly. And it's been rare that anything has taken that away. So Frostbite is can't attack this round. I'll set unit power to zero this round. It can be changed after. Okay. So this is this is burst, huh? Can't play a unit. Oh, sorry, they're already attacking. Okay. Well, if this is just asking me to cast frostbite on things, I think I can handle this. I heard rumors about there being a League of Legends card game in existence years ago. Years and years ago. For a deadly frostbite combo to defeat your opponent's units this round. We're attacking. Okay. Kill all enemies with zero power. Then frostbite all enemies. Frostbite. Well, this isn't really a very complicated combo, I'm going to be honest with you. But we played perfectly. I wasn't strong enough. Arrows at the ready. Hiya. Cross bike and combo with many different cards. All right, that was a little simplistic for my taste. But I get what they're trying to do. That's fine. We can keep going through this. We'll unlock stuff. What do we got here? An epic bundle. Contains an epic card from each region. Let's just look at these. Give other battling allies plus one, plus one, and fearsome. That's where they have to have power greater than three. Oh no, I clicked it away. Ruination, slow kill all units. Wrath of God. Uh, yeah. I mean, if I can play this on my phone, you will, you will have me engaged a lot more often. For sure. Let's 
spirits high and low. Ephemeral units don't last long, but often come with great power. Learn about the time you need to harness it. What a wrath cost is very, very telling. As far as like a game's overall feel and aesthetic. They already have an Android version with iOS in the works. Uh-oh. Does that mean I need to get an Android? I probably have something with Android. Like some kind of tablet. Somewhere in my house. Use ephemeral units to win this round. Okay. When an ephemeral ally attacks... Last breath, deal one to each nexus. I'm assuming I just play all these things and win, right? Two, two, zero, zero. Huh. When an ephemeral ally attacks, revive me attacking. What's going on? Why is this not costing any mana? I'm so confused. This isn't part of the training. Oh, they're already cast. They're not in my hand. Okay. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Is it pay to win? Life is pay to win, sadly. Messed up. Messed up world. Check out your spells and abilities and use them to defeat your opponent this round. Can't block. Last breath summon an escaped abomination. Four, four. Ready your attack. Grant an ally plus three, plus three, and ephemeral. Okay, and this is already on the battlefield, so I pump this. I guess I can go here first, right? So I attack. Block. Thought I had to attack unpumped. Oh, so it dies, but it, it's ephemeral. Yeah, so it, it dies either way. <laughs> Wrath costs nine, next to fate cost three. That seems fair. All right, so this is our three one ephemeral on the battlefield. Summon three unleashed spirits. 1-1 one, one ephemerals. When another ally dies, deal 1 to Nexus to play me, kill an ally. Okay. So I'm assuming we just make our three spirits. Play our phantom prankster. Ephemeral ally attacks, revive me attacking. So that's what we want to sacrifice. And that doesn't attack. And shark comes back. Do 
not interfere. That's not gonna be lethal though, right? Am I missing something? champs as well. Okay. Didn't realize that. Victory! Played perfectly once again. Vault. Must be about elusive. I think it was actually that when your ephemeral guy died, they hit their face too. Got it. You're right. Ephemeral creatures die after the attack step. Cool. Yep. Makes sense. Can I use an elusive unit to win this round? I bet I can. Seems like I uh, just play this and then attack. <laughs> Again, play perfectly. Gonna play these again. Can't fly if you don't try. Silver Wing Scout. So that does have elusive. And tough. Okay, I haven't seen that yet. But we have two elusive attackers. The other Get outplayed. Elusive units pose a big threat to opponent. Agreed. Elusive units to win this round. Seven mana available. Nexus strike, summon an exact copy, grant an ally elusive. Okay. I think we uh, figured this puzzle out. Speed on this burst. Okay, so let's just. If I push attack, it would be too late, all right? I agree, that robot dinosaur was dope. What is burst versus fast? Burst is split second. Fast is instant. Slow as sorcery. Hopefully, you know magic. <laughs> so otherwise, that didn't mean a whole lot. But I'm assuming if you're here, you do. Alright, let's check our rewards. I'm still confused what a quest is. Quest is just it gives gives you more cards. If an ally died this round, deal three. Hasty big beater. Another, oh, we saw this thing. Kill a unit with three or less power. Cards then XP. There's no like quest to do, right? Yeah. Okay. Recommended for beginners. I feel like we can skip the beginners ones, right? Here we go. Wow, this is this is a impressive piece of software. Why does everything make me jealous? <laughs> like, why, why can't magic have these things? 
Why, why doesn't the best game in the world have the best software? Quests are the same as arena quests. Okay. More than allies to survive this time. Cleverly use spells to outwit your opponent. Bull and Elnook. Well, this is my favorite creature in the game. Clearly. When I'm summoned, draw two Poros. If you have a Poro ally, lonely Poro. When I'm summoned, create in hand a random one-cost Poro from any faction. Okay, and we have only one mana, so... Poro it is. Fearsome, sinister Poro. I would tell you that arena is still in beta, but it is now out of beta, so I can't I can't say that anymore. Elixir of Iron. Okay. Burst spells can cast anytime, even in the middle of combat. Explosives pride. So I can play another Poro. Oh, and this Poro does Everyone's something? Why, why did that Poro flip? Okay, so we will... Go ahead and block and save this poor elk because we don't want anything bad to happen to it. When does this go off? This just on attack? Yeah, okay. Right click the sinister poro and click on I for full art. Yo. <laughs> That's good stuff. Nice. My action, no mana left. Jubilant Poro. <laughs> right, he's not lonely anymore. Holy shit. That is that is good. That is very, very good. Wow. Illustration by six more vodka. Okay. Entreat. Draw a champion. I don't know what champions are in my deck, but I probably should just play this now. Ooh, Trindamir. Uh, so attack. House Spider. Seems like opponents should have done that before I attacked, but. Oh, they could want spell mana. Okay. Well, that doesn't matter. Huh. Frostbite mana. It's burst. Last breath, deal two to the Nexus. Okay. Summon, draw two Poros if you have a Poro ally. That seems good. And the stats line up well. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. Mighty Poro. Victory at any cost! Alright, as sad as it makes me, it's probably time to trade off this Poro. That seems fine. Did I try out Artifact? Yes, I did. And it was not good. Run while you can. Okay, back on my side. With all these flash freezes. Mighty Poro. Get more Poros. Uh, I think I would like to be able to hold up Flash Freeze on my opponent's turn. 
So if I play Mighty Poro, I will be able to do that. Would you believe he once bit in my hand? <laughs> How spider is. No double blocks, right? Now I'm incentivized not to attack with this Poro Hoarder. Or I guess I could in like Frostbite. That seems bad. Okay, I'm okay with this. The opponent just takes it. I guess they could have like at least that makes sense, right? Grant Poro My allies everywhere. Plus one, plus one. And a Darius. Levels up when the Nexus has 10 or less health. 6 5. Both have Overwhelm. It gets 10 on level up. Is there a reason to show it separate? Uh, probably because if I don't spend it, it doesn't carry over, right? Oh, that too, yeah. So we can play this Elnook. But I kind of just want to go ham on the Poros and then get my Poros bigger. Strength above all. So I have to block now. Okay. So that means I probably should have played a bigger creature because at any time they could go to combat. Interesting. That's very interesting. Well, I could up all my Poros now, but what does that really accomplish? I guess I get some good trades. Uh, but this having Overwhelm is problematic, right? Maybe I'd want to Frostbite that instead, actually. I guess I could do both. To you, <laughs> Poro snacks. I like that the poor old herder talks to them. Yeah, they get the decision when to move to combat, which is actually really interesting. More poro snacks. Fearsome means only three or greater can block. Yeah, okay. That's cool. Right. I think we just want to attack with everyone. <laughs> Trust me, they add up. Not so fast. Maybe this is aggressive frostbiting. Let's see holding back the 3-1 there being correct as well. More we lonely Poros. Fearsome. 
Let me block my enemies with three or more attack. Play the strong. I smell a fight. Seems like a windmill slam. Will. Try me. Right? Because we just want to level up. And then we have this huge Trindamir. Jeez. Trample, fearsome, tough. Um. Turn structure interacts interestingly with rats. I could see that. Oh, that was dope. Wow. I was so excited when there was that giant hand on the battlefield in Arena. <laughs> like that was enough for me, and now I now I get this. Uh, I think I just want to go right to combat, right? Like instead of doing stuff, you just want to jam combat and. Then your opponent doesn't get to play anything, right? Like, did my opponent have a window to play a creature there when I just moved to combat immediately? No. Yeah. That's crazy. They can play spells, but not creatures. Okay. Interesting. Boy, there is... There is a lot to this game. Hmm. Alright, what else we got? Practice the unique back and forth flow in Legends of Ruterra. Sounds good. I I am digging it. It is it's beautiful. I mean, really, a beautiful piece of software. Definitely feels deeper than Hearthstone. Karen, nice. Oh, I can't wait to do Spinny Garen things. It's gonna be sweet. I'm actually here. A real battle. Reporting in. Eyes peeled. So I have only creatures, so I'm super incentivized to spend my mana. So whether this block is correct hinges on. This is like the uh, the episode we did. Do you block? <laughs> I have no idea. I can't make any kind of informed decision. <sighs> Drawing a card with a keyword. Yes, I have. Okay. I know what tough means, but thank you. I appreciate it. When I'm summoned, draw a unit if an ally died this round. Okay, I'd rather not do that. So we just play this defender. Other battling allies plus one out of this round. Taxing three you. here. Where's my axe? Lucky poor no going back. I've struck, then recall me. Play ready or attack, strike 
recall me. Strike, deal damage to an enemy using this unit's power. So as soon as Katarina does damage, it goes back to hand and will be leveled up. This is only good on offense. All right, I think there's a possibility we don't want to do anything here. I guess we could play Plucky Poro. It's only gonna do... Doesn't accomplish all that much. But we do want something to die, so maybe that's what has to die here. I'll do better this time. Well, that's weird. This should this should certainly be attacking, right? I guess you have to survive combat too, right? I would assume for this to level up, you have to survive combat. I don't know if that's actually true. Uh, okay, this block is free. Don't have a great block here, but I'll just throw this Poro away, I think. Hmm. If I'm doing that, I should not block here. I should block like that. And then I can throw it this way if I want. Which seems fine. Demacian steel protects me! Elusive, tough, and elusive. Okay. This gets bigger on attack. Grab summon, ready your attack. Okay. Victory lies ahead. Some spideys. Uh, all attacks seem fine. At your signal. Watch my pose. Going somewhere? Interesting. Hold fast. Not on my watch. Oh, permanent plus two two every time it attacks. Wow, I didn't put that together. Yeah, buffs are not till EOT. Garen will heal, right? Stay resolute. Yep. And Garen has struck once now. When I'm summoned, ready your attack. Okay, so if I just go straight to attacks. We must not relent! It shall rain ash in our wake. I will bring honor to the Crown Guard name. If only your sister were more like you. Justice by my hand! Your training has failed! Uh, to get a beta key, all I did was link my Twitch account with my Riot account, and then I watched a bunch of streams, and then I had a drop. And I, I mean, I, I did like the sign up first.
And then I did that. And then it worked. I don't think there's much more to it. I, I mean, I've, I've talked to other people who did the same thing. So does the drop happen in chat? I didn't see it in chat if it did, but I just like saw my notifications and I had it. All right, we've unlocked something else. It's just another quest, just more spells. Remove all text and keywords from a follower. That's interesting. Recall a unit. I'm assuming that's bouncing. Cool. Give allies challenger. You choose who blocks them. Stop a fast spell, slow spell, or skill. Counterspell. Fast counterspell. Yeah, league characters in card form definitely doing it for me too. This game needs a card with little effective counterplay that summons a bunch of zombies or something. It does. It does need that. That's what this game's missing. I knew it this whole time. There's just something I couldn't put my finger on. I was like, what is this game lacking? It's that. It's an uninteractable engine that ends any game that goes past six turns. Did I play League? Yes, I did. Poorly. Think I topped out at gold five, and even that was a struggle. It kind of broke me. Actually, League was the game where I'm, I was like, I'm old, and I'm tilted off the face of the planet now. Because, like, when I was a kid, I was the person who was the best at video games. And then the internet happened, and all of you are so goddamn good, you make me feel really inferior. So I just have to play Magic all the time, because that's the only thing I'm good at. I was heartbroken that I wasn't good at League. All right, what else do we have? Only a few left. Let's do this Jinx one. Fast spells and slow spells. We're going to learn all about them right now, I guess. Wanna play Good timing. A game? Tic tac toe? Dominoes? Cards? So we have fast mystic shots. Fast spells are powerful. Enemy will get a chance to react with fast or burst spells of their own. I don't have time for games. Cast mystic shot. Time for some target practice. Do these mystic shots come from Ezreal? They do. Create a mystic shot. Discard it end of round. Level up once targeted enemy units six times. God, I love Ezreal. Remember when Kleptomancy came out and Ezreal was just broken? Like, preposterously broken? Create a zero cost Mystic Strike, discard at end of round. When you cast a spell, deal two to their Nexus. That's dope. Spells and skills deal damage, they deal one extra. Kadok. Cast Mystic Shot. You got it. Mmm. Responding with a burst spell. Spells and skills take effect from left to right. Give an ally plus two two. Everything breaks Ezreal, that's fair. Another mystic shot. Feels two to all enemies. Some units create skills similar to fast spells. Let's try this again. Sunsmith. Keep Ezreal alive. You defeated the Funsmith before Face Melter skill could take effect, so Funsmith's damage enhancing aura was gone. How do regions affect deck building mana? They're just a restriction. You can only have two regions per deck. Someone said watching multiple streams does not increase your odds. I don't know. I honestly have no clue. Truth 
True Shot Barrage. Dope. Two to three enemies. Slow spells can't be cast in combat or in response to another spell. You're welcome, Death Sandwich. I am happy to come stream for y'all. Just looking forward to sharing this with people. I know uh, I definitely was looking for someone who... I know their flow and style to teach me the game. That's why I went to Savij. I watched him play auto chess a bunch. Um, and just generally like his, his way of going about things. So I'm glad I could do that for you. You can target the Nexus. Cool. The gloves are coming off. Have the spoons. Gotta say, that's kind of brilliant from Riot. Like, you get your stream numbers up really high by people who want to get in, the and then you're at the top of Twitch, and you're already starting the hype for your game. Draw three, reduce their cost by one. So I can respond to this face melter with that. Give an ally plus two, two. This is going to do one to all enemies. So do I want to respond? Keep two blockers alive, does that matter? It's gotta be better here than anywhere else. Stream is messed up? Huh. Sorry about that. I don't know, uh... I don't know what's going on. I'm not showing any dropped... drop frames. That is unfortunate. I wish I knew what was going on. I can't I can't see anything going wrong with the stream. Just the image goes bananas. I I don't I have no idea what's happening, sorry. I don't even know how I would begin to address it. kill this Jinx next turn. My Shows over. True Shot Barrage or Plaza Guardian. Killing the Jinx seems nice because I'll get a mix Mystic Shot. And this is slow, huh? Interesting. Early access is only about five days. That's going to be heartbreaking if I really start to enjoy this. I'm so good, I surprised myself. Oh, why did I level up? I don't even remember what the level up clause was. Hold on. Targeted at enemy units six plus times. Okay, cool. One shot, all skill. Gotcha. Now I get a zero cost Nexus spell. I deal two to the Nexus whenever I cast the spell. Can I do this? I can. And I have one, right? Nice. Is dope. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this game is fun. I'm pretty sure. 
I don't know. I mean, obviously, when you first get into a game, it's always a honeymoon period. But I will say I spotted Artifact as garbage within like 10 minutes. So I am I am capable of making that call. But you could always get it wrong. All right, a couple of these left. We'll go to Ice and Wind. Help Yasuo get out of a chilly situation in the Fry Lord. Why would I ever help out Yasuo? Uh, yeah, I think that's a good way of looking at it, M. So The heroes have built-in quests like the Hearthstone quest system. That's how they level up. They do their thing. Pick your starting cards. Well, I will pick all new starting cards, please. Thank you. Why is this here? What's happening? Well, we've already started. Gain an extra Get mana gem. This says... Reduce the cost of the most expensive unit in your hand by one when it strikes. Let's see what this Yasuo does. 4-3 quick attack for a strike. When you stun or recall an enemy, deal 2 to it. When you've stunned or recalled 6 units, level up. And then you get 5-4 Yasuo. When you stun or recall an enemy, I strike it. Cool. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's essential to know the lead characters. Definitely, like, the animations and stuff are appealing to me because I know, uh, the lead characters. I don't know how much of the fun is locked up in that, though. So, Yone's cost been reduced by Greenglade. Look out. Yep. Yep. Strike effect. Sure. Opponent gains a mana gem and heals Nexus for three. Gives me this this thing when I'm summoned. Enemy summons a snow hair. Okay. You do alternate defending and attacking. This is all very weird. What's when going on back, here? You'll always find. Cast Steel Tempest. Stun an attacking enemy. I don't know what stun does. Remove a unit from combat, can't attack or block for the rest of the round. <laughs> okay. Uh, skip block. Wow, it's got a tornado and everything. That's dope. And one of six units has now been stunned. Opponent gains a mana gem, heals their nexus. Opponent with all the mana in the world. Steel Tempest stun and attack me. Attack their creatures. Sure, you're not giving me a lot of choice here, tutorial. But I'm along for the ride, whatever you want. An impasse, huh? Trindamir. You dare desecrate Avaros and lands? I've got no quarrel with you. Are the hero cards like artifact? Not really. They feel very different. Cast Steel Tempest, stun an attacking enemy, sure. That returns it. Or leaves it in combat. Your faction does dictate what champions you can have. You get to choose two factions. And all your all your spells have to come from those two factions. Uh, 
it deals two to everything. Well, that seems good. Oh, so Yasuo is like gonna be the control deck. Where it just bounces everything. Well, or it's like Turbo that. Fog almost. People will really appreciate that. When you stun or recall an enemy, deal two to it. If you don't know League, people hate, hate, hate Yasuo in the League. Didn't, so it fits that he's I very annoying in the minds. game as well. Big words. Might change your tune when we're done with you. I haven't played with Teemo. I read Teemo. We? It looks crazy. An Ash. Queen Ash. I've got your back. Into the fr huh. Come on. Attack frostbite all the highest power enemies when you frostbite four enemies. You get a crystal arrow. Frostbite the highest power enemies. Enemies with zero power can't block. Crystal arrow, frostbite an enemy, then frostbite enemies with three or less health. Draw one. You're on your own now. Help Yasuo defeat Ash and Trindamir. You kind of threw me into it here, tutorial. All right, I'm at five mana. When you stun or recall an enemy, deal two to it. Play stun two enemies. That seems like a good start. And then next turn, I can double stun with Steel Tempest. Seems obvious enough. Only I can quell the wind. So now they cannot block and I can attack. And we're up to four units stun for Yasuo. Yasuo will level up after I stun this Ash. And stun this Trindamir. Oh, so this applies now? But it didn't apply to the Trindamir. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, the order. But I needed the second one to... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I needed to have Trindamir be the one that I hit last. Right. Okay. That makes sense. Well, now I feel kind of screwed. I can still kill the Trindamir by recalling it, and then I'll eventually have... Oh, I can play this next turn. If I play Green Glade, look out and recall the Trindamir. Okay. Oh, I have to 
strike to get this effect. Opponent is at 10. I guess I'm going to be at 8 anyway next turn, I think, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, I was at 7 here. Okay. Wonder if you can go to combat, recall something before it blocks, and then pump the unblocked guy. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you just win there. Do you get priority before declare blockers? You should. I wish we could rewind. Because that's the stuff like I really want to figure out. Like, how can you time things and make it work? Because until you understand that, you it'd be very difficult to play this game effectively, right? Uh, I think we just pass here. And then basically no matter what opponent does, we just get to play this minus swift foot. Like, we could recall these now, but there's really no reason to. You just take eight here and are happy about it. Worst case, we can heal ourselves. Oh, no, that's slow. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we have to do anything here. Now we have to do this. Yeah, but it has to be attacking. So I guess I could have attacked last turn. Okay. Feet were made for roaming and chicken. So yeah, so it kills both these. Yeah. That's cool. We have a bunch of pump spells. So we just got found out. Like a gale through the valley. The blade above all. Wanderers learn from their travels. Yeah, the timing thing is very interesting. Like when exactly I can. Make sure that things go unblocked. More rewards. Champion bundle. Sweet. Let's get a bunch of champions. There are cards that care about order. There's like support cards. And they help whoever they uh, whoever's to their right is who gets their effect. Relentless Pursuit. A rare wild card. This thing. Summon rid of your attack, that card's badass, and a Katarina. This is a new lore figure, okay. Related to Garen, I'm assuming. Lux and Garen's sister. Or mother. Are Lux and Garen related? I don't know League lore. I have a very small awareness of the different like places. How many unlocks are there? Not that many. We'll just do this one to get out of the way, even if it is a beginner's one. And they change League lore all the time anyway. Yeah, that's true. I have seen that. It's big Darius. Use the power of Overwhelm to win this round. You got it. Won't pass these walls. Extra muscle never hurts. I know an elixir of wrath. I know that. Are elixirs still in the game? Stay, stay. Elixirs are still in the game. Okay. You can tell it's been a minute since I played. You get free ones off Kleptomancy. I was around for that. A battling enemy strikes a battling enemy. 
So, oh, with Overwhelm, okay, that makes sense, like killing a creature after it blocked a Trampler. And this is fast, yeah. Okay, so I attack, this blocks, now I get to Whirling Death. Battling ally, battling enemy. <laughs> Dope, Draven Ultimate. That is good. Cool. Alright, Asteria says Overwhelm. Give an ally plus 301 Overwhelm. Okay, so we just gotta play everything, I'm assuming. For the Empire! Who approaches? So five gets through. Fourteen. Am I missing something? Well, left will have trample if I go like this, right? Strength above all. And now I get to kill something. Yeah, I, I don't see lethal either. Darius levels mid combat. Enemy Nexus has 10 or less health. So it matters which order they do damage in then. Like this has to deal damage first. So is the fact that it's on the left meaningful? Combat resolves left to right. And I chose that order when I pulled them forward, right? Like I have control over that. I accidentally did it right, yeah. Huh. Interesting. Uh, so this doesn't matter who this does damage to. Accidentally solved the puzzle. <laughs> Welcome to my life. So that dies. Six, level up. Wow. Okay. Perfect attack. I, I literally didn't even consider attack order to this point. Yeah, it's deep. It's real deep. It really is. I keep seeing more points where it's like, oh, that was something I didn't even think about. Is it problematically deep? Because that was artifact, right? Like, everything was just numbers. And all you had to do was manipulate numbers. It doesn't feel that way right now. But there's a lot going on there. It gets funky when you have things applying board buffs. Yeah, I, I'm getting that sense of a good middle ground. And that's true. Yeah, the hero units are way more interesting. Wait, did I do the same one, or did I change the right one? I don't even remember. Thresh. Love me some Thresh. <laughs> Wish they'd do the combat math for you. That'd be nice. Alright, what are we learning here? Sentinels of Light. 
Don't fear the dark. Mm-hmm. Quick attack. Got it. I haven't seen the trailer for Senai. We'll have to check that out. Curse Keeper can't block. When it dies, create an escaped abomination. 4-4. Four, four. Not so Block. Now I get to attack because I first strike. And I can play Lucian. When I've seen four allies or Senna, Sentinel of Light die. So I want Lucian here because I want. Oh, Senna's not going to die anyway, probably. And this doesn't matter. It only matters when I pull them to combat. Hello, love. What's the plan? Took you long enough. Do Santa Lucian get any kind of, uh, like, Zaya Rakan buffs when they lane together? Don't know about the kit yet. Okay. Gotta expect so, right? Well, that's been tough for them to balance for sure. Stay back. What, is, what has happened? I'm Thresh now? Okay. Thresh has challenger keyword. It allows you to choose which unit will block Thresh. Be careful! Attack with Thresh, then use challenger to drag Senna. <laughs> so it's like a hook. Dope. And there's a hook! Oh my god, that is awesome. That is too good. Well, now Lucian levels up, right? Oh! Okay. Remember that? Remember that hand that <laughs> we all shit our pants over? The hand that came over the the battlefield. I'll make you regret this. Yeah. Victory. The whole purpose of that was it's just Thresh killing Lucian's wife. We have unlocked this vault. We've done all the tutorials. Alright, where do we get these vault rewards? Oh, I don't see it here. Maybe it's just like in our collection. Hmm. Don't know. Okay. I I wanna I wanna take a stop here. I wanna just I just wanna do a little exploration on stream. I'm gonna share this over on our YouTube page so people can get familiar with the game. Uh, and then I will try to find some time tomorrow to do a little bit more streaming of this game maybe i'll do some deck building off stream uh because it's going to take me a while to like read all the cards and understand them and i don't want to make everyone sit around for that but i think i can do that on my own and then come back tomorrow with hopefully some interesting decks for us to look at uh do have to record the podcast tomorrow so that'll eat up a little time Ravioli asks, when playing and thinking about magic being my job do i think playing a card game in my free time will help me unwind uh i don't unwind i can't like i i cannot have any downtime in my life i am doing something all the time uh and that's probably unhealthy the only time i unwind is when i'm like out in nature or when i'm running that's it but if i'm just in my home 
gotta be doing something all the time so i am happy to have more things to think about more card games to play should try Mythgard. i haven't heard much about Mythgard. i just saw someone tweet about it for the first time the other day um but maybe maybe once this ends i can look into trying out some Mythgard. i i love all games even if i'm not going to play them long term i still love learning what they're about and their rule set so i, I would be happy to look into that um but we are going to cut this now thank you everyone for coming and checking this out i'm glad you let me guide you through this game and like i said i will try and come back tomorrow with some sweet decks for you later